it's another post bag. Mostly, I think, Black Friday stuff. So, yeah, there is a little time lag here. But anyway, let's get started. So, that one actually is not from China, but from eBay, Germany. And it's, okay, invoice, yeah. Finally, I wanted that for a long time. Um, that's just a tool for bending the leads of your parts. Yeah, really primitive. Just put your whatever it is, resist in this case, in here. Um, I don't know what the distance exactly is, but it should be in point one inch steps so put it in bend it and you're done okay that was pre-bent and uh, yeah but um i like it i like it especially i like it when my resistors and diodes and stuff are bent in the right way yeah it's a tick of me I wanted to say a tick of mine. So that was the lead bending tool directly from eBay Germany. Uh, you can get them everywhere, but uh, for 289, I didn't want to go to the hassle and uh, order this with the usual Chinese suspects. Yeah. Next, we have something from China. And this is packed very well. Oh, yeah. <clears throat> um, I guess <laughs> uh, yeah. We already had that one in another mailbag and I also did a video on it. I used it to solder some breakout boards for small SMD parts. Uh, yeah, cards, links. Um, yeah, let's see. It's, it's really, it's exactly the same. Yeah. <clears throat> can, I, can you see that? The magnets really cling to, ah, uh, come on. Cling together. Yeah, they're supposed to get into the feet. And, uh, yeah, I'm, I'm not really sure uh, if I should say anything about it. Uh, just watch the old videos. Just going to assemble it. Yeah, no, no, I'm, I'm not going to assemble it. Uh, it's exactly the same. It's just a heating plate with a PTC heating element. And um, I ordered the second one before uh, because the first one I, of course, used in my laboratory water bath, heated water bath. Um, that monstrosity here, uh, I mean, it's glued to the pan on the back side with some silicon glue and uh, yeah, so I needed a second one for uh, still reflowing my breakout boards or whatever comes my way SMD-wise. And card link for that one here. That was an interesting impropu project. That thing came from Banggood and I ordered it pre Black Friday sales for 
564 euros so uh, I don't know six dollar fifty or something um, at that point in time it was cheaper on Banggood than it was on eBay so I ordered it from Banggood um, I mean it's coming from China anyway so and finally we have this big bag which is definitely from China that is Banggood and it contains <laughs> more packaging and ah magazine boxes okay let's start with the easy stuff magazine boxes so two of them and uh okay they got a kind of a lid that fell off immediately and there's no way to remedy that because <laughs> that's interesting um yeah the movable part is let me get in closer is simply too small to snap into the little pins here um yeah okay that's not gonna be a five star i guess because uh yeah basically you can throw that away that leaves us with a box with 15 compartments and yeah you can if you want to play around a little bit with it um i don't intend to do this uh, oh yeah i remember what i wanted them for so i have somewhere these bags with multi-turn trim pots lots of them and uh yeah it's a pain to uh yeah find the right one and here you can have the values for 10 ohms 100 ohms 1 kilo ohms 10 kilo ohms 100 kilo ohms and 10 10 20 50 or 1 2 5 so yeah it, it's ideal everything in one box and then the second box is for normal trim pots and i should mention that uh, the lid of the second box is working and holding on so yeah not so for the first box there the lid is not holding on because yeah somehow in the plastic mold the pins here that should hold the lid in place um, they are a little bit short yeah whatever only four stars i guess so that was from geek crete uh, the value electronic compartment storage assortment box blah 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 uh, they are available in different models 10 15 24 36 values i bought the one with 50 compartments for 184 euros so two dollars or something like that which is really cheap but uh, as I mentioned the quality is <clears throat> questionable yeah moving on to the last part and this was bought on Black Friday but it was not a Black Friday offering Finally, we come to the very big and very well, oh, 
very, very well packed package. Which is a case. Okay, let's have a look at it. So that's a small desktop case uh, with a relatively flimsy and thin front and back, which means uh, you have no problems putting <laughs> holes into it. Um, yeah, something, I don't know, uh, to carry it or to stand it up, we will see. And yeah, top and bottom shell and some parts, uh, which are some, yeah, that's not rubber, that's hard plastic feet. That's a little bit disappointing. Long screws, not self-tapping. These are really, uh, come on. These are real screws. Hmm. And it should go together uh, like this. So yeah, here and yeah. And I mean, there are leftovers from the injection mold. So, and it's, it's kind of dirty, so. It's, it's, it's not a high quality case, but it has. And I think that's the bottom. It has some, yeah, ventilation slots. And hey, yeah, they are molded into the plastic. So the nuts and yeah, so you should have no problem opening this up and closing it again and again and again without your uh, threads wearing out. So let's see, if that's the bottom, then I guess this goes like this. I guess so. Maybe I'm wrong. We will see. And sorry, I need to insert the back and I need to insert the front. And this goes then. Uh, yeah, this way. <clears throat> yeah, if, if you put a little bit thought into it, uh, you cannot do it wrong. It's a little bit fiddly doing it here on the cam, but nevertheless, I'm trying. Okay, it's all closed up and now all we have to do is screw in the feet. And I need a screwdriver. And really, the feet are not rubber. Um, if you want to enhance this case a little bit, Buy some rubber feet. Uh, sorry, need a tool. So, and if the front, respectively, back plate is in, it's reasonably 
sturdy. No complaints there and you can put this up a little bit. So yeah, it's uh, sturdy enough, I guess. The mechanism is interesting and if you yeah. <laughs> if you flip it back, it uh, <laughs> stands out a little bit further than uh, yeah <clears throat> the feet. So yeah, I would give it at least some rubber feet. But otherwise, yeah, I mean a case. Uh, yeah, you might be interested in the internal dimensions, huh? So internally, it's from wall to wall, 19.3 centimeters. And from plate to plate, let's say front plate to back plate, yeah. 15 centimeters and at the front uh, I don't know if you can see that now everything's coming apart there's also here a provision to slot in a board yeah, there's also a slot here and it's in the top shell there are also these additional slots to hold a board for the front which is I guess a Okay, um, yeah, and there are a whole lot of little standoffs, but without a threat to, yeah, to mount your board. That's it. So, sturdy enough, a little bit dirty out of the factory, a uh, little bit, fl yeah, it's working uh, with that stand up, uh, but. Yeah, nothing to write home. Yeah, but for going price of 7.92 euros, so I don't know, $8.50 on Black Friday. Yeah, that was actually the only thing that was on Black Friday sale in this mailbag. Uh, it's an okay value, I guess, as a small project case. Um, yeah, currently 980 euro start of yeah December when I'm filming this. Regularly 17 euros, uh, so 18, 19 dollars. Uh, I wouldn't buy that it for that price. Nah. It's a wee bit too flimsy for it. Uh, yeah, but um, yeah, for eight bucks, absolutely okay. And that was the first part of the Black Friday mailbag and uh, I guess more of the stuff will come in and it should be exclusively, no, I'm lying. Uh, there should be some more Black Friday stuff amongst it, hopefully, when it arrives. Until then, bye.